I saw this music video today by a band called OK Go. The song is titled Upside Down and Inside Out, and I believe that the production of this music video, they basically explain how NASA carries off their fakery aboard the supposed ISS that does not exist. Everything these circus clowns do that are supposed astronauts basically carried out aboard Zero G planes. I'm going to play this clip. The supposed newsman, nothing more than a sellout. I'll get to the music video and I'll explain it all. And in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, how would you prove to us that you're in zero gravity? He says, in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, why would he even state that? Look at that little smirk and look at his smirk. These two clowns are on the same team of deceivers on the payroll. Take a look at what the supposed astronaut does. He does a little flip. So I guess this is supposed to prove he's in space aboard the ISS. Let me play the video itself here. Let me get to the point here. It states, what you're about to see is real. We shot this in zero gravity in the actual plane in the sky. There are no wires or green screen. I'm going to mute the, the audio itself. It's not relevant to what is taking place, what needs to be explained. Let's play this clip here. Skip ahead a little bit. These band members, first thing they do is they throw up these laptops during the video and they basically float basically zero gravity you're going to see these band members start floating around this video is continuous it goes on for approximately a little bit over three minutes this is all done again in a zero G plane by an S7 Russian plane they did multiple takes, and I'm going to show a news article basically explaining how they do this. Let's just play a little bit more, and I'm going to get into that. Skip ahead here a little bit. Well, I'll just keep playing it. And this is over the 30-second mark with the maximum amount of time a plane could go. The state of zero gravity is 27 seconds. So what these these musicians are doing in this music video, and what the astronaut, you know, supposed astronaut Scott Kelly did with that flip, is not very impressive when you see this taking place aboard the zero G plane. Now let me get to this news article where they talk about OK Go's new music video. Let's show a little bit of the imagery here. You get down to what I'm speaking about here. Here they are in front of this plane. Here's basically the crew aboard filming the music video. And you get down to the portion where it's very revealing what's taking place. And it basically answers the question that many have about NASA and the supposed astronauts in their fakery. And it's right here, I believe, yes. It states the longest period of weightlessness that is possible to achieve in these circumstances is about 27 seconds. And after each period of weightlessness, it takes about five minutes for the plane to recover and prepare for the next round. Because we wanted the video to be a single, in, uninterrupted routine, we shoot continuously over the course of eight consecutive weightless periods, which took about 45 minutes total. We pause our actions in the music during the non-weightlessness periods and then cut out the sections and smooth over each transition with a morph. And this is the key I want to talk about, the morph. Between you know, each weightlessness period, which lasts, again, 27 seconds, this is how the astronauts do it. They basically morph. The two clips together, or multiple clips, to make it smooth and seamless, to make it appear as it's continuous when it's really not. So again, I'm going to get back to the 
the, to the music video. Play a little bit more of this. And they show another clip. Basically the making of this video. I'm going to you know, show something that I find pretty interesting in regards to the flat earth. Basic reference to the flat earth and the dome. Please do another flip here. Again, it's not going to make the supposed astronaut Scott Kelly look impressive. We've seen enough of this. I'm going to get to the the making of this video. I find this very interesting. Let me go to the very beginning here. I believe it's right here. But they cut out here and they say they put something on the screen. Okay, go upside down and inside out. The Thunderdome reel. And this is the cult of the Thunderdome, as I mentioned before. Play a little bit more. Where it states the grand finale of the music video for Upside Down and Inside Out was given the nickname Thunderdome. If people don't understand what the Thunderdome means. I've explained it before. It's all going to make sense. All about mockery. For those that don't know about the flat earth, there is a dome above us. When you hear thunder, it always echoes. Why does it echo? Because of the dome. Interesting enough with this 1985 movie, as I mentioned, what do you see here with Dr. Dealgood? And you see the Masonic Square and Compass. Because, of course, the director, George Miller, is a Freemason. And you see the black gown as well. Again, so, again, understanding with these Freemasons, those behind the scenes, as I always state, as I showed before, the cult of the Thunderdome. You're going to understand why they reference in this music video. It's all about mockery. It's all about. And again, talking about the dome, as I mentioned before, the Sky Dome. Another reference to the flat earth with the dome above us. Interesting enough, with the Sky Dome logo itself, they have the D in dome open with the sun within the D of the dome. Again, just more mockery and truth in plain sight. Everything they do, there's a reason. They don't just, you know, Make up things out of thin air. There's always a backstory to what you see with these logos. As I mentioned before, the first actual dome stadium was the Astrodome. Understand, the first baseball team in Houston, Texas was called the Colt 45s. And after they built the dome, the name was changed to the Astros due to the space program. And interesting enough, you see the upper deck with the rainbow seats, of course. The dome, you're going to get a reflection. That's why you get rainbows. It's a reflection of the dome above us. Looking at more domes here throughout history. Take a look here at Detroit, Michigan. Actually in Pontiac with the silver dome. And silver is a reference to lightning. So I mentioned before you had the thunder dome. Now basically you have the lightning dome with the silver dome. Just like quicksilver is a reference to lightning as well. Now, taking a look at the Metro Dome in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Basically, Metro is short for Metropolitan, which basically represents a densely populated urban area. So you have an urban area under a dome. Talking about getting back on topic with these supposed astronauts with Sonny Williams, this hideous woman with this hideous haircut, Understand the reason her hair is sticking up in this position throughout all of her videos. Understand, again, getting back to basic zero-g planes. They only last 27 seconds, even with the morphing technology. After each you know, basic 27 seg segments of filming, they can't reproduce her hair in the same position. You know, During these zero-g planes, her hair was not hairsprayed. It would just keep falling down, coming back up, and it wouldn't look right. It's just one aspect that totally you know, exposes ISS and these supposed astronauts. Nothing more than frauds. Let's continue on more here. Reference. Let me just uh, take off the audio. Play this clip a little bit more. 
Now she she turns sideways here. Totally expose her hair as being hairsprayed into position. The zero G plane that she's on, not on ISS. ISS does not exist. Her hair on the on the side here and on top should be going up. So what's the deal with that? And look at her go upside down and her hair stay in the same position. All of her hair should be going up. It's not still going straight down. This alone exposes ISS. These fakers, these frauds, nothing but liars. And I have this image here of the Wicked Witch of the West. It is this hideous deceiver. It reminds me of her. Let's take a look at these images here and just compare. One and the same. Some people might think I'm being a little bit harsh, a little bit cruel. Understand NASA and the government, they have defrauded the American public out of billions of dollars. And these people are treasonous. They know what they're taking part of. No sympathy for these people whatsoever. Nothing but a club of deceivers. All these astronauts, all those people in the media. How people can't see what's taking place here with this fakery and these liars and frauds is beyond me. People you don't want to believe this is real. They live in a fantasy land where lies are truth and truth are lies. And they can't get past the fact that they've been deceived their whole lives. Sad. Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> Astronauts to the moon. Astronauts to the moon. The force can have a strong influence on the weak mind. This video is continuous. It goes on for approximately a little bit over three minutes. This is all done again in a zero-G plane by an S-7 Russian plane. They did multiple takes. And I'm going to show a news article basically explaining how they do this. Let's just play a little bit more and I get to that. Skip ahead here a little bit. Well, I'll just keep playing it. does a little flip so I guess this is supposed to prove he's in space aboard the ISS let me play the video itself here let me get to the point here it states what you're about to see is real we shot this in zero gravity in the actual plane in the sky there are no wires or green screen I'm going to mute the, the audio itself it's not relevant I saw this music video today by a band called OK Go. The song is titled Upside Down and Inside Out. And I believe that the production of this music video, they basically explain how NASA carries off their fakery aboard the supposed ISS that does not exist. Everything these circus clowns do that are supposed astronauts basically carried out aboard Zero G planes. I'm going to play this clip. The supposed newsman, nothing more than a sellout. I'll get to the music video and I'll explain it all. And in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, how would you prove to us that you're in zero gravity? He says, in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, why would he even state that? Look at that little smirk and look at his smirk. These two clowns are on the same team of deceivers on the payroll. Take a look at what the supposed astronaut does. To what is taking place, what needs to be explained. Let's play this clip here. Skip ahead a little bit. These band members, first thing they do is they throw up these laptops during the video and they basically float. Basically, zero gravity. You're going to see these band members start floating around. He says, 
in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there. Why would he even state that? Look at that little smirk and look at his smirk. These two clowns are on the same team of deceivers on the payroll. Take a look at what the supposed astronaut does. He does a little flip. So I guess this is supposed to prove he's in space aboard the ISS. Let me play the video itself here. Let me get to the point here. It states, what you're about to see is real. We shot this in zero gravity in an actual plane in the sky. There are no wires or green screen. I'm going to mute the, the audio itself. It's not relevant to what is taking place, what needs to be explained. Play this clip here. Skip ahead a little bit. That are supposed astronauts basically carried out aboard Zero G planes. I'm going to play this clip. The supposed newsman, nothing more than a sellout. I'll get to the music video and I'll explain it all. And in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, how would you prove to us that you're in zero gravity? I saw this music video today by a band called OK Go. The song is titled Upside Down and Inside Out, and I believe that the production of this music video, they basically explain how NASA carries off their fakery aboard the supposed ISS that does not exist. Everything these circus clowns do 